I'm Chema Kaje Uwadoka, and this is Africa in 10 Minutes. Join me as I bring to you the trending business news of the week as reported on Footprint to Africa. This week, the Nigerian Naira strengthens against the dollar. Arik Air gradually stabilizes operations. And Footprint to Africa witnesses a pivotal handover ceremony in Calabar, Nigeria. And now the news in detail. The Naira on Monday continued to strengthen against the dollar and other major currencies, the news agency of Nigeria reports. Traders at the market expressed confidence in the new Forex policy and its ability to restore the Naira to its lost glory. Still in Nigeria, acting president Yemi Osibanjo has unveiled a public-private partnership industrial plan valued at $20 billion for the development of gas-based industry in Nigeria's Niger Delta region. The industrial park would be a cluster for several industries in one location, benefiting from an efficient, cost-competitive and abundant supply of natural gas, proximity to a deep seaport, and centralized utilities, as well as services such as uninterrupted power, world-class telecommunications, and processed water. In Agric News, Sugenta's seed care program for smallholder farmers in Senegal has led to impressive yield increases for various agricultural produce. Improved access to quality seeds and inputs and complementary technologies such as seed treatment is seen as an important accelerator to increase smallholders' productivity and improve the livelihood of rural communities in Senegal. During a working visit to Cross River State, Footprints Africa witnessed the handover of the Construction and Fabrication Academy to the Schools Companies UK. During the handover, His Excellency Senator Professor Ben Ayade said that the graduates of the Construction and Fabrication Academy would utilize their acquired expertise in the various ongoing infrastructural projects of the state. In aviation, Arik Airlines, Nigeria's largest local carrier, recently taken over by Amcon, has within two weeks of the takeover commenced efforts to stabilize operations and repay outstanding debts which affected service delivery. The airline has been able to eventually surmount the problems to stabilize operations with a few aircraft on the fleet. Moving on, the World Bank Group has announced that residents of seven rapidly urbanizing cities in Tanzania will benefit from funding to scale up infrastructure investments and promote growth. The World Bank Board of Executive Directors approved up to $130 million in additional financing for the Tanzania Strategic Cities Project, covering the seven strategically important cities. And finally this week, following continuous increase in its production capacity, formal cement manufacturer Dangote Cement PLC has finally ended the era of Nigeria's dependence on importation as the company exported 0.4 million metric tons of the products to other countries in 2016. In its 2016 full-year audited results presented on the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange in Lagos, Dangote Cement sold 8.6 million metric tons of cement outside Nigeria, which is 54% more than what was sold in 2015. The export is significant given that the nation used to be a net importer of cement. That concludes the trending news of the week. Stay tuned for a recap of the headlines. Naira strengthens further against dollar. Osibanjo unveils plans for $20 billion PPP industrial gas park. Farmers in Senegal achieve boost yield with Sugenta seed care program. Footprint to Africa witnesses pivotal handover. Arik gradually stabilizes operations, commences debt repayment. Seven cities get World Bank infrastructure investment support. And Dangote drives cement export for Nigeria. For questions, comments, or to keep up with the trending business news, stay connected. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and connect with us on LinkedIn. These news and reports are called from Footprint to Africa. For daily updates and more business news in Africa, visit www.footprintsafrica.com today. Footprint to Africa. Business news made in Africa by Africans.